Go ahead and try this ACT grammar question. Iron is important in the diet of a new mother since it helps maintain their energy level. On questions on the SAT or even ACT English, when you see pronouns like he, they, them, their, this, which, any pronouns like that, you want to give it an extra look because that's very often where you're going to find problems. And that's what we see in number 18. So we see the pronoun there. And when you ever see a, every time you see a pronoun, you want to ask yourself, what is the antecedent, which is a fancy word for, what is the noun that this is referring to or standing in for, right? A pronoun just replaces a noun so that you don't have to keep repeating that noun, right? If I say, Chris, Chris's mother asked Chris to drive to Chris's house to find Chris's sister's hat. Terrible, right? Much easier if we can use hims and he's and she's and hers there to make the sentence not sound so terrible. That's what pronouns do. So they got to replace or stand in for a noun. So when you see a pronoun, you want to make sure that you know which noun it stands in for. So you might have read this if you got this one wrong and if you thought, let's say A was right, you might have read this and said, oh, okay, maintain their energy level. They're talking about, you know, new mothers, the energy level of new mothers. And okay, but is that what the sentence says? No, the sentence talks about a new mother. This is singular, right? We're not, we are in some sense talking about the class of mothers, but grammatically, this is singular. We're talking about a mother. We're talking about the general, typical mother. And this is therefore singular. So we can't use plural pronouns to stand in for a singular verb. So there can't stand in for a new mother if a uh, singular noun. The singular noun would have to be replaced instead by her. It helps maintain her energy level because it's referring to the mother. So let's get rid of any choices with there. That would be A. That would be C. Now in D, we have ones. Ones is an indefinite pronoun. You use it to kind of stand in for the general typical person, right? Some kind of indefinite person. And we don't want that here because we already have a person. It's a mother. So we would want to use her there, not ones. So we can get rid of D. Notice B has maintain her, which is great. It adds them in front. It helps them maintain her energy level. That doesn't make sense because again, them is plural. It would help the mothers, uh, the mother maintain her energy level. The mother is plural here, or singular here. Them is plural. So again, there and them both plural. You can't be B. So we're left with E uh, since it helps her maintain her energy level. That's fine, right? Her refers to the mother. It's singular. Her also refers to the mother, it's singular. Now you might say why maybe if you didn't pick E, you might have said, oh, it sounds weird, right? Since it helps her maintain her energy level, that re that repetition of the her seems uh, redundant. And maybe, I mean, maybe we could get away with just saying it helps uh, maintain her energy level, perhaps, but having it helps her maintain her energy level is fine, it's grammatical. It may sound weird, but on questions like this, you, you gotta sometimes be careful with sound. Uh, you'd also have to ask yourself, if it's not E, which of the other choices would work? And frankly, none of them would work for the reason we discussed. Um, maybe a lot of you put B because them and her are different, so that's not that redundancy or something. But the point is, no, you can't do that. Um, you got to go with choice E. It's the one that matches the pronoun, uh, matches the noun. You've got that pronoun agreement in place. Uh, and it makes sense. It makes sense based on what the sentence is trying to say. So we're going to go with choice E. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com slash enroll, and you can find the link in the description below the video.